Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord who God's life. So when we're talking baptism, really, we talk about it the same way we talk about anything else God does. Is it good or bad? Are the things that God gives useless or, or useful? Are they empty cups that you have to fill with something, or are they cups that, I don't know, runneth over? The distinction, really, is nothing more than faith. Always. Faith, given by God through His Word that makes alive that which was dead, which calls, gathers, enlightens, sanctifies, and, and even keeps us in the one true faith, that opens our eyes to see all the things that God does are good, because He Himself is good. That, that we would actually hope in Him and all that He would do and say. And, and that's wonderful to talk about, but the frustrating and terrifying thing is that the object of our hope still feels really far away sometimes. The, the thing that we hope in still feels really far away sometimes, like as far away as heaven feels from earth far away. And so that's not going to do. We cannot have a God who is cut off from us by time and space. We cannot have good gifts that are hung out where we cannot reach to them. And so our Lord would give us baptism. And that's not just given to teach you about who he is. That's given for you, for you to receive, like right here, right now, daily, not just someday when you get to heaven, not just if you really, really earn it, you can get a prize, but right now you have already been given this precious gift because God doesn't do worthless things. I mean, if you want to talk about faith when it comes to baptism, fine. What do you believe about your God? Honestly, and that's not an insult. Just look at the things that he does. Are they good or are they bad? If you really can't see anything useful in baptism which is given to you, well, what about the cross where Jesus died for you? Is that only working if you believe in it, like Tinkerbell? Is the cross empty and you have to fill it? No. No, God's cross did what he intended it to do. And I know that it's done because he said it's finished. And so also with his gift of baptism, it does what he needs it to do. And more, he does that here for me, there for you, because this is handed right to you through time and space to bring to you all the salvation that God would have to give. And so Luther, when he talks about baptism, when it comes to faith in the, in the large catechism, he writes, thus you see plainly that there is here no work done by us, but a treasure which he gives us and which faith apprehends, just as the Lord Jesus Christ upon the cross is not a work, but a treasure comprehended in the word and offered to us and received by faith. Baptism is where we receive, where faith lays hold of God's promises brought forward from that very same cross of Christ. To say that you trust God and not baptism is almost like saying you trust God but not the crucifixion. The thing is, that was God's crucifixion. It was done for your good. And the baptism which he would give to you, that's God's work too. This is a work where your salvation is delivered to you. On the cross, our Lord won that salvation. He paid for it in his own precious blood. And in your baptism, he brings it through time and space right for you. And both of these things matter. You need both of these things. It's sort of like UPS and Amazon. I love Amazon. I buy way too much stuff on Amazon, but if I didn't have UPS to deliver those things to me, it would be kind of worthless. It'd be too far away to matter. But here, right now, your salvation is delivered in the waters of your baptism. That same salvation won upon the cross where Christ worked your salvation. Right here, the Holy Spirit works your sanctification. You're, you're being made holy in water and word. This is now for you to bring that cross right here, that, that you would actually have it to unite you with Jesus in his death and again in his resurrection. All of this God would do for you and faith grabs onto this promise and rejoices because here I can actually trust that the same God that I trust in, the same God that I would call good is not far away, but he is here. He is now and he is for me and I know it. I'm baptized. <laughs>